guys, it's me, Louie Bite. So I graduated from university about a year ago now, and I feel like in that year that I've been in, I guess, professional life, there are so many things that I found I didn't learn at university, which they just weren't teaching me. Hopefully these tips can help you to succeed and get you wherever it is that you wanna be. So the first thing that I wasn't aware of when I first graduated was how ridiculously important networking is, which is kind of disappointing for me who hates networking because I'm kind of an awkward person and I don't really like to talk to people that I don't know very well and have to make like small talk, but it really is the best way to meet people who hopefully can introduce you to other people that might get you your dream job. So first of all, online networking, definitely follow people on Twitter who have the job that you wish that you had or work in companies that you wish that you worked in. Try to get yourself noticed by asking intelligent questions and things like that. Definitely sign up for LinkedIn and start linking up with people who are in the same industry as you or for example, people who might be recruiters in companies that you might want to get a job at. And most importantly, do try and go out and meet people face to face. Try and look out for things like meetups or research seminars and workshops and things like that and always try to have an open mind and talk to as many people as possible. You should always try and have something smart to say, which seems a lot harder than it actually is. I think that a lot of the time you can get away with saying things that seem super intellectual but actually are just generic stuff that you might have found in an article. Or for example, say you're at a job interview. If someone were to ask me if I know how to edit videos on Adobe Premiere, instead of saying that you don't know anything about it, try to maybe flip that and tell them about something else that you do know which is somewhat related. I'd probably turn around and say, you know, I've never used Adobe Premiere, but I taught myself how to use both Final Cut Pro and Sony Vegas, so I'm sure that I have some skills that could be used to really quickly pick up Adobe Premiere. So on that note of spinning things, I think something that's super important to know how to do and know how to do well is to, I guess, push the truth as far as you can without lying. But don't lie, because if you do lie, you will get caught out eventually, and it's not worth it. So I'm gonna give you a small example of a way that I spin something. A while ago on my gaming channel, I did a video for a Ubisoft game which was sponsored and it was actually an external YouTube advertising agency which contacted me and asked me to make this video and I made it. So instead of saying I made a promotional video with this advertising company which nobody has heard of, it sounds a lot more impressive if I say, well I actually had the opportunity on my YouTube channel to work with Ubisoft to promote one of their games. So I'm not actually lying about anything. It's basically just about finding the best way to formulate your skills and experience to make them sound as amazing as possible. I think a lot of universities throughout the country have different schemes where you can either have an older student be one of your mentors or even, you know, a professor. Sometimes, like for example at my university, they can even connect you with someone in the industry that you want to work in who can mentor you for a while. If you are already out there in the professional world, you can get somebody who's, for example, a manager or who has just more of a senior role than you within your company who can mentor you and give you some tips on how you can get to their position in a sense. And a lot of the tips actually that I'm giving you in this video are things that I've learned through different mentors. You can kind of learn from their mistakes and their experiences and they might give you, you know, the special secrets or hints and tips that are necessary for you to get into their industry Plus, they're a networking contact at the end of the day. It is very important to know how to present yourself well, and it's something that you don't really think about so much when you're at university. Um, myself included, you know, sometimes you show up in just sweatpants or you're very tired, and your professors will notice that you're not interested in the class, and if they start to get the impression that you might be a lazy person, for example, they're probably going to mark your grades a lot more critically than maybe other students. And this is something that definitely applies at university, but also 
in workplaces or at networking events. It's also super important to present yourself well on social media. If you have any public social media like Twitter, just keep in mind that employers usually go and search you up online and if they see you have anything that's particularly offensive or of a type of humor that might not be to everyone's taste, then it might be worth making those posts private because you don't want that to affect your chances at getting a job. My final tip is one that I kind of had to learn the hard way, which is that you should never burn your bridges. I know a lot of people, for example, do things like internships or have their first job out of university, which just really sucks and they're treated terribly. And I would say if you're in one of those situations, try to be as diplomatic as possible and kind of swallow your pride. Definitely don't stay in that job or in that position because you don't deserve to be treated poorly, but give them a different reason for leaving. Don't just, you know, throw the papers in the air and storm off and let everybody know that you're being really unprofessional and pissed off. So I think one of the best things that I've really learned and that has changed within me since I graduated is that I try to not take small problems so seriously. If you're upset about a grade, for example, where you got maybe one or two percent less than what you thought you deserved. Those one or two percent are gonna matter a lot less in the future than, for example, having a person who really hates you because you got in a fight with them. So those are some of the best things that people have taught me after graduating from university. If you have any tips you think people should know for how to succeed, then let me know in the comments and I will try to find a way to do a mass post with all of your tips included. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you all very soon.